that's how I was feeling. I want to talk about Kid Capri because while we're talking about DJs and, uh, and albums, this man has, mm -hmm. um, I don't think the gang get, knows, maybe don't give him enough because right. all the things you uh, talk about yeah. Flex has done, yep. so has Kid Capri. Absolutely. He put out an amazing album called The Love that he produced. He's he produced, actually, rapping, right. uh -huh. yeah, did the whole thing. Yeah, shout out to Kid Capri. Talk about his impact on the game and how it impacted you. I mean, it's crazy we was in the Sprinter last night talking about this and like, mm. Kid Capri was is probably literally one of the earliest uh, inspiring DJs, like you know, just off uh, Def Comedy Jam alone. Like literally seeing him on television every Friday night right. and watching him do his thing, and you know, early on in hip hop, like he was a he was a very huge figurine as a DJ, and that was also seen in the light of an artist in the sense of like you know, just 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 bigger than life, yeah. you know. Yeah first DJ to ever have his own tour bus. Like, you know, he would yeah. he would he would go across the That's country crazy. doing events everywhere. Like when even the style there's a style of DJing as far as like how DJs play records fast. Yeah. And like, you know, drop twenty seconds of a record and then go on to another record. Or just the style of 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 mic game in the club. Like a lot we all took from Kid Capri. Like none of us would be here if it wasn't for Kid Capri. Like he he really set the That's blueprint, you know what I mean, for all of us to 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 be in this position. Um so, you know, we we there's never a moment when you cannot give somebody like Kid Capri their flowers. And then even in the mixtape game, like Kid Capri was the mixtape king okay. before so many people came at, at that. Like, you know, he he tells it he retired, like, cause he was he had made millions of dollars already just off his mixtape hustle and went on to do other things. So, you know, me as a mixtape DJ, like, you know, I remember the first time I was acknowledged by Kid Capri. I remember I was DJing for T.I. Um, on the Jay-Z and Friends tour when it became the Jay-Z and Friends tour. And I think Kid Capri was on that tour. And he he walked up and somebody said this DJ drama and he was like oh your drama and I was just blown away to the fact that he even knew, <laughs> that he even knew who I was you know what I'm saying so yeah you know I mean it's crazy like the the as much as I've accomplished and like as as elevated in the game and and the success that I've had I still so many times sway where like I remind myself about that young kid who went to go see Juice and wanted to be a DJ. And, and when I have these moments, it's like, man, like if I would have went, if I could go back in time and tell that kid, like, yo, one day you'll do ABC, like, I, I don't know, I would have been like, get out of here, old You want to believe nah, that? Nah, like, <laughs> <laughs> go back in your time machine, man, yeah.